Hello, hello. Um, thank you for joining us here at the uh, LTC. Um, there are a number of nervous emerging translators making their way through the crowd um, for these announcements, so uh, thank you guys, this is all for you. Um, and uh, we won't detain you too long um, with the wine and so on today and the speeches because I know Vodka Hour um, at the Polish stand beckons at uh, I think 6.15, so um, I'm sure <laughs> people will want to move on to uh, that if the mood takes them. Um, it hardly seems any time um, since I was last here uh, making this speech. Um, it, I was going to say it hardly seems like a year ago, but it's not a year ago. Thanks to London Book Fair for moving it a month earlier. That's been really hard to program everything. I think I'm not the only person who's, uh, who's encountered that difficulty. But no, thank you as ever um, for hosting us. Um, but it seems... Like only yesterday that uh, I was announcing um, the translation mentorships uh, moving over from BCLT to their new home at Writers' Centre Norwich and uh, saying what languages uh, we were going to focus on. Um, and now a year has passed, we recruited you know, some very, very promising candidates out of over 85 applicants altogether um, to be mentored. They've met their mentors, they've attended International Translation Day, and they've been through a, a grueling process, bespoke towards their individual needs and the needs of their language. Um, and now we're at the stage where we have these rather lovely um, showcase single-fold publications um, to give to you, um, their readers. And, and as well as that, many of them have published elsewhere as well during the, um, the past few months in places like Asymptote, uh, in specialist journals for uh, Finland, Swedish uh, and Arabic and so on. So there's lots going on. This is the tip of the iceberg. Um, the, the, the hole beneath the surface is much, much bigger. It's in included entire books, volumes of poetry um, being translated. The, the energy um, of the project is, is absolutely extraordinary, as I find um, is um, everything to do with literary translation. It really is a great joy to be working in the area. Um, so I'd like to thank everyone in turn and just um, refresh uh, our memories as to who the current cohort are. Um, we're celebrating them. Uh, then I'm going to call um, a couple of guest speakers um, to uh, say something. Uh, and then we'll announce the new wave of languages that we'll start advertising in a few weeks' time. A pre-announcement, if you like. Um, so this year, um, and the only one who can't be with us today is... Um, Agnel Joseph, um, mentored in Hindi by Jason Grunebaum, who is here and who's been participating um, today. He, he has uh, one of the publications out. Um, Scotia Gilroy, mentored in Polish by Antonia Lloyd-Jones. Samrita Ganguly, mentored in Bengali by Arunava Sina. Um, everyone is here, I think. Um, Helena Karl, mentored in Russian drama by Sasha Dugdale. Kate Lambert, mentored in Finland Swedish by the wonderful Sarah Death. Jennifer Arnold, mentored in Catalan by Peter Bush, founding editor of In Other Words. And Francisca McNeil, mentored in Arabic by Paul Starkey. So most of those people are in the room today. Um, I'd like to thank you all for taking part in the project. We're you know, more than delighted um, with what's been going on. Um, and I'd like to also thanks specifically one of my colleagues, the absolutely invaluable Megan Bradbury at the Writers' Centre, who really has you know, led on the admin uh, and the publishing around all this. Well done, Megan. Um, she has the copies to, to give away, so um, she's waving one in the air, um, so do see her afterwards. We've also got um, copies of it in other words. If you haven't seen the last issue from the autumn yet, do take one of those as well. Um, and I also want to say that our thoughts are with uh, the family of Marta Eidsvag, um, our Norwegian mentee. Um, she's been through a very tough time in the past few months, but you know, will be uh, resuming the mentorship with Don Bartlett um, later this year, so we're glad to, that things are, are looking up. Um, so, um, I'd like, as I say, to introduce as an interlude uh, the founders of the new Starling Bureau uh, in the person of Roland Glasser. So, the, um, the Starling Bureau is a new translators collective uh, modelled on the uh, existing New York collective Sadia and Company, uh, and it consists of myself, Paul Russell Garrett, Zoe Perry, Ruth Clark, 
and our social media guru, Morgan Giles. <laughs> and um, the idea really is to take things one step beyond institutions like the Emerging Translators Network, where, where people get together and pool their resources and their, their experience and their knowledge, um, you know, to work together to pitch books that we really love from our respective languages and literatures to English language publishers, and to serve as a resource for publishers to provide information and expertise about different countries, different authors, different books, uh, funding opportunities, promotional opportunities, and things like that. Um, the five of us actually are sort of, I wouldn't hesitate to say children of Writer Centre Norwich, but all of us met at a summer, transla a summer school, the Translation Summer School, which used to be run by BCLT and is jointly run. Um, by Writers Centre Norwich, and Paul is also a a was a mentee. He's a an alumnus mentee, an ex mentee. <laughs> um, so, kind of um, Norwich and the, the literary translation scene. Norwich is sort of where we've come from. Um, so we're going to be working together to pitch each other's work, kind of like a literary agency would. Um, get to know each other's pitches, help each other develop pitches of these books and present those to publishers. And uh, we have launched today. We have a website, thestarlingbureau.com, which I would all urge you to go and visit where you'll see details of our current projects we're pitching and what we do. And we're on Twitter at Starling Bureau and on Facebook. And um, that's it really, I think. Yeah. Thanks, Roland. So the Starling Bureau, check it out. It's there for you. It's going to help you. And it's been, you know, it goes before my time. Um, you know, a lot of this this work, these cohorts of young translators. But it really is great community to have landed in and to be part of. And you know, such exciting work. So long may it continue. Um, so I'm just going to announce the languages that we've secured so far for this year. Don't take this as a definitive list. We are a month early, um, so we may add one or two more in before um, the announcements. But I think we can publicly say 11 now, so we've already expanded beyond uh, the size of last year's program. Um, and I'll start off, I, I think it seems fitting given the Herculean work that Antonia has been doing with the market focus this year uh, to say that we will repeat a Polish mentorship uh, thanks to the PCI um, and to Scotia for doing such good work um, this year. Um, then a new one, um, thank you to the Lithuanian Cultural Institute, we're delighted to be uh, doing Lithuanian for the first time in partnership with the BCLT Summer School and that's part of next year's market focus activity and the planning towards that. Um, <clears throat> Uh, and again, we'll do Norwegian. Thank you to the Royal Norwegian Embassy. So there'll be two Norwegian mentorships running simultaneously if you include the deferred one uh, for Marta that's currently ongoing. Um, we'll do Greek. We'll do Swedish. We'll do Catalan. We'll do New World Spanish. And that is part of our commitment to diversifying beyond the borders of Europe. Uh, and with Reimagine India funding from Arts Council England, we will do, uh, for the first time, I think, uh, Tamil and Malayalam, so two uh, different um, Dravidian languages from India. Um, we'll do Arabic again because we had so many applications for Arabic and it seems, you know, worthwhile language to be uh, translating at the moment. And. Finally, is anyone from Harville Secker here yet? Or are they tied up in the right centre? Is Ellie Steele here or anyone else? It seems not. Well, I'll just have to announce the language for the Harville Secker Young Translators Prize, which, of course, um, you know, the winner wins uh, the final uh, mentorship. And that will be in, drumroll, Korean. So, thank you all for listening. Have some more wine, take your copies of the single folds, and see you at Vodka Hour. <laughs> um.